All right, welcome back for Chapter 5, Geometric Relationships, Lesson 3, Triangles. So, there's this little picture here. And can you see how there's a triangle right here? And what it looks like is that they tore off the corners of this triangle and then put them up there. It says, if you tear off two corners of a triangle and place them next to the third corner, the three angles seem to form a, tri a straight angle. So they're taking this angle and flipping it there and taking this angle and flipping it there. And what they're saying is it's forming a straight angle. That's crazy. Like, why does this seem to be true? So I saw this and I was like, you know what? Let me try it. So I have a triangle here. And so what I'm going to do, let's see here. I think it fits better in the picture if I do this. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just, I just want to see if it's true. So I'm going to rip off this corner here and then rip off this corner and what it's saying is that if I put these wait how do they do it okay now you got to figure out how to do it joy so like that right okay so they're saying if I put that like that and then I put this one what would it be like over here I just want to see. Dude, oh my gosh, they're right. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's a straight line. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that, so cool. Oh wow, it is a straight angle. So it means that all of these angles, right, if you add them together, it equals 180, right? So let's go back and reconstruct this poor triangle. Okay, so whatever this angle measure is and we don't know it so I'll just call this um, T and then I'll call this one S and this one R because I don't know what they are but I know that they're different from each other like these angles aren't the same right so basically if I take these um, those are the angle measures let's see if I can do it again and so these angle measures, S plus R plus T, equal 180 degrees. Isn't that crazy? Oh, my gosh. Let me see. I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to put, look, I just have to make sure it's the right angle. Okay, so I'm just going to put this little angle mark right here. Okay, and that's going to say, hey, it's that angle. I'm going to put this angle mark. I'll call it T degrees. Let's get serious. And this one here, call this R degrees. Okay, getting fancy with all that mathematical symbolism. Okay, okay, so it is that one, that one, and that one. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I wonder if it works for all triangles. And really what this is, this is called the triangle sum theorem. Triangle sum theorem. Okay, and what that says is the angle measures of a triangle in a plane add up to 180 degrees. So look, here we have 43, 58, and 79. Boom, 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 they add up to 180 degrees, and there we go with our theorem. Basically, it says R plus S plus T equals 180 degrees, and it's called the wonderful magnificent triangle sum theorem, and I think it needs to be highlighted in orange because orange is such a happy color. I like orange. Boom, okay, triangle sum theorem, add them all up. All the angles in every single triangle add up to 180 degrees. Perfect, okay. Let's go over some different terminology. So the first one is an acute triangle. An acute is so cute. It has three acute angles. An acute, remember that's an angle that's less than um, 90 degrees. So one example of an acute triangle could be something like 70 degrees, because that's less than 90. Um, we could have a 30, because that's less than 90. And then they all have to add up to 180. So that's 100, which means this one has to be 80. And it's also less than 90, so that's great. So that's a very cute angle. It's so cute. Oh, what a pretty, pretty angle. Triangle. Okay, now let's look at the right triangle. 
This triangle just always thinks it's right. It's like a know-it-all triangle. It's so cocky. Okay, um, a right triangle. Okay, so it always has a right angle. So this means it's 90 degrees, which means that these other two angles have to add up to 90, right? Because 90 plus 90 is 180. So we have 90 here. Let's just say I'm gonna call this 50 and, oh, this 40. So that's 90, that's 90, they add up to 180 degrees. Um, but the reasons why it's a right triangle is because it has one right angle, which is 90 degrees. Okay, um, now let's talk about an obtuse triangle. An obtuse uh, triangle basically has one angle which is bigger than 90 degrees. All right, so let's call this, I don't know, we'll say it is like, 120 okay uh, that's over 90 um, and then the rest have to add up to 180 so I'm just making up a triangle like there could be a lot of different variations so 60 right so let's call this 40 oh man that is a horrible 40 okay that's 40 and then this is 20 right and that adds up to being 160 180 all right okay let's get to our examples for today. So example one says finding angles in acute right or obtuse triangles. So this says a find X in the acute triangle. So we're trying to determine what this angle is. No sweat because we know that all angles add up to 180 degrees. So we just make a lovely equation, right? So, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get myself situated. Okay, so we have basically um, 58 plus 42 plus X equals 180. And that's your equation. All these angles add up to 180. Then you just solve for X and do the algebra. You can do this. Okay, so 58 plus 42, what is that? <sighs> Let me go off to the side. Okay, 8 plus 2 is 10, 9, 10, 100. Oh, so fancy, fancy. All right, so then, I don't know why I said it's fancy. Why is 100 fancy? I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, uh, we gotta get x by itself, so we're gonna do that subtraction property of equality. Cancel, x equals 80 degrees. And that is the answer. Okay, perfect. Let's go on to the next one. Um, find X in the obtuse triangle. Notice we have an obtuse angle here, which makes this a lovely obtuse triangle. So we just add up all the angle measures. So we have X plus 122 plus 20 equals 180. We add up these numbers. We get X plus 142 um, equals 180. And then we gotta get X by itself, so we do the subtraction property of equality. Subtract 142 to both sides. That cancels, we're left with, um, what are we left with? I have to borrow. Eight, that is seven, uh, three, 38 degrees. And there we have it. All right, let's go ahead and look at C. Uh, C says find Y in the right triangle. So we know it's a right triangle, which means there's one angle that has 90 degrees, right? So we're going to go Y plus 90 plus 50. That all equals 180. That's our lovely triangle sum, um, triangle sum theorem equation. And then we have to combine like terms, right? So that would be 140. 90 plus 50 is 140. And we want to get y by itself. Right now it's being added, so we have to do the inverse operation, which would we subtract by 140 to both sides. And 180 minus 140 would be 40 degrees. So that's how you do it. All right, now it is your turn, ladies and gentlemen, to do D, E, and F. Here's my friend, the pause dragon. Remind you to pause your device. Go ahead and work out those three problems. When you get done, press play, and we'll talk about them together. All right, see you in a bit.
All right, we are back. Let's see how you did. So it says find R in this obtuse triangle. So we're going to add up all these measures. R plus 110 plus 40 equals 180. We simplify. R plus 110 plus 40 is 150. And then we have to get R by itself. So we do the subtraction property of equality. That cancels. We're left with 30 degrees. All right. There we go. So if you got that one right, great job. Okay, let's look here. Find Y in the right triangle. It's a right triangle, which means this is a 90 degrees. So we are going to go 90 plus 48 plus Y equals 180. That triangle sum theorem. Um, 90 plus 48 is 138. Yeah, it is. Plus Y equals 180. And then we're going to get y by itself, so we're going to do the subtraction property of equality. That cancels, and we are left with 42 degrees. If you got that one right, great job. Okay, and on to the last one. It says find x in the acute triangle. So we have x plus 80 plus 70 equals 180, the triangle sum theorem. 80 plus 70 is 150. And then just the subtraction property of equality. Two, both sides, that cancels. X equals 30 degrees. If you got that right, yo kadenki you did a wonderful job, and I will see you for example two in a little bit.